welcome you all this evening. It's, it's wonderful that you can be here to celebrate this uh, important milestone for us. Uh, you know, many of you probably remember that it's the library's birthday actually on June the 2nd. So, so really, we're, we're here not only to celebrate this kind of important event with the unveiling of the plaque, but also to celebrate our sixth birthday. And, and, and we like birthdays, and, and of course, we will invite you that after we're all done to, to come in and to, to look around if you haven't been here for a while. And again, I, I see some faces that, you know, again, are, are familiar to me, but it's been a while since you've been here, and so we're, we welcome you back. Uh, we also have a, a, a later this evening, an uh, interesting event. Timed, or tied to the Susquicentennial. We're having a, a Kendallville uh, story night. And so if you have some memories of not just the library, but of the city and growing up in the area, we'd invite you to participate in that. It's just going to be back here in room A and B. But tonight, for the next few minutes, I want you to think about the wonderful work that, again, many of you were involved in in creating this wonderful facility. And, and tonight, uh, again, we want to remember that. And, and we've now created a way for people to, to know who the people were that were involved in that. We want to honor, again, you for the work that you've done and, and what got us here. You know, focus groups were convened back in the year 2000 and 2001 to discuss the, the current and the future needs of the library here in Kendallville and its position in the community. A feasibility study was done by Moak Park Group to determine the space needs at Kinderville and to compare uh, the addition to the existing building versus a new building at the library or for the library. The library board, working with several citizen groups, made the decision to build a new library and chose the site of the former McCray Hospital for this new library. The Kinderville City Council agreed to turn the property over to the library once the hospital building was demolished. The property was deeded to the library in 2005, and groundbreaking for this new building was November the 20th, 2005. The new building was dedicated on June the 2nd, 2007. The architect for the project was the Moak Park Group of Fort Wayne, Indiana, and the general contractor was Fetters Construction of Auburn, Indiana. The members of the board at the time of the dedication of the library were Jane Ray, president, Betty Allen, vice president, Ralph, or excuse me, Randolph Sexton, treasurer, Sue Emerson, secretary, Fred Inninger, Jane Schreiber, and Deborah Robertson. The director, of course, at that time was Ginny Draper. What? And we created a building corporation to be involved in the, the financing for the library, and that was John Pierce, Garth Kuntz, and Jerry Steinbarger. It is with my greatest pleasure to be able to reveal to you tonight our dedicatory Now I, I am so grateful to be here now as the director. I, I didn't get to be here with the fun with the building of the building. But I've heard many of your stories, and, and I'd like to give any of you who would like to take a moment to, to share a memory or a, a thought about uh, the, the, the process of bringing this to where we are today, uh, if you'd like. Uh, I'd be happy to give you a moment. You can sit there. Or... Well, it was a great work. I'll say something here. <laughs> Man, a few words. Sure. Um, I'm Mike Wall with the Chamber of Commerce, and I was not here when that took place. But one of the things that I found, um, I grew up in Garrett, and one of the things that I found about Kendallville when I came over here is that there were a lot of really neat things happening over here. And that's the one thing, that, one of the few things, one of the many things that had me excited about coming here to be the Chamber Director. And the, the two of the major construction projects that I was uh, raving about with other people in other communities was the library and then the YMCA. And the fact that a community this size would choose to invest the, the kind of money that was necessary to make it uh, as beautiful facilities as it is was, was quite impressive. And it helped to um, um, you know, close a lot of uh, 
miles of people that were uh, deriding Kendallville as Kendall Tucky. <laughs> and, and, and I think that that's the one thing that, to me, when I started to show them some pictures of the view out the window there of Bixler Lake and with the Adirondack chairs on the deck and things like that, this facility is really a world-class facility for a community this size. It is. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate those comments. You know, this library has at its heart the desire to serve the community. Uh, the board, uh, not only the, the board from 2007, but, but our board that exists today it is, again, continually looking at ways in which we can uh, provide to the library an opportunity for them to be able to, to pursue their educational, their recreational, and their informational needs. Libraries continue to evolve and grow, and this community is blessed to have an organization that, that follows that pattern, to, to grow with the community. And we are very thankful to, to have the opportunity to serve the citizens of this community. And with that in mind, I'd like to, to reveal to you our next step here at the library, and that is actually to look back just a little bit, and we are introducing to you tonight our logo for celebrating our centennial <coughs> here serving the community of Kindleville, uh, celebrating a century of service and uh, we have some exciting things that we'll be doing from this point on through 2014 and we hope that you'll all be able to participate in some of those activities as they come out. Uh, Jenna and Bonnie who are here tonight, they are modeling our, our staff shirts for uh, all of the, the crew to wear and so you'll see these being uh, shown this Saturday at the parade and we'll be marching in the parade wearing our, our new centennial shirts and again throughout the, the next 18 months we're going to have the opportunity for patrons and volunteers to get t-shirts and sweatshirts but, but we're really excited about the, the next 18 months it's going to be a great time here at the library, and, and again, as I was telling Kim earlier today, any opportunity we have to party at the library, we take advantage of it. So it's going to be a, a great time. And, and again, we thank you for, for your support, and, and again, I invite you all to, to stay and enjoy the library this evening if you'd like. But, uh, that concludes uh, my remarks for tonight. So thank you. I'd like to invite you to come uh, today for 6.30 to 8.30.